last time I spoke to you was uh, at the sports bar in McKenna, where uh, you just won the British title, mate. And then the next time I seen you, you was losing it in a great fight to Craig yeah. Richards, yeah. who ended up fighting for the world title. Was that yeah, next fight, I, think, I, think? I think he fought that Bibble. Yeah, yeah, he fought Bibble. He put good shows on, didn't he? Yeah, man, he done what he had to do. Um, yeah, you done what you had to do. But you, you regrouped, you're now with Channel 5. I've just seen your fight on there because I never got a chance to see it on the night. Uh, I only got a chance to see Sam's. Yeah. It's, uh, it's where I've got to be. I think that's more of my mindset coming after last night. Like, um, it's just brought that out of me more, you know what I mean? Like, where my mentality really is just to want to get my opponents out there. There's no hidden game plan to that for me. Um, it's a small forward, I want to get a minor. You're in a weight division that's heavily loaded, not just domestically, but world level now. I mean, yeah. the top five are all world ranked. Yeah, um, yeah, it's true, and it's everyone in, in the whole light like, heavyweight division, you know, it's five. It's a lot of, um, you know, stellar amateur names and people coming through, um, and a lot of uh, prospects as well, so it's an exciting weight division to be a part of. And what's the direction that, that Channel 5 are going to take you in? Because they're going to rebuild you, aren't you, and get you back up to at least British level again? Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I do really feel like it's something where I needed a rebuild in boxes. You know, it's just, I lost. <laughs> it happens in boxing. Um, but I get the whole process, you know, I trust the process of obviously Hennessy Sports Channel. Um, but yeah, we've um, obviously had the fights and we're going to you know, push in the um, direction to, you know, be back with belts and in top contention again for sure. Well, you did it in very short time. I was going to you, like yeah. say, last time. And it was a very short period of time from when you started yeah, yeah, to true. be a British champion. True, yeah. Do you feel that, you know, perhaps you were at a, a level that you might not have been quite ready for at that moment in time? Um, I don't believe so. It's, I think, you know, myself and my team, we know what we're doing in the gym, we know what we're capable of. Um, and I feel like we, you know, with also agent on my side, not saying that I am, you know, made it or anything, but, um, you know, we're obviously going to push and, you know, with that push, you know, comes these fights as well. And we felt like we can elevate quickly. Um, <laughs> and the kind of fighter we can adapt on, it, you know, with the situations and I learn from everything. Well, there's a lot of times trying to uh, speak to your gym mate, uh, Corey Gibbs, because he's going in the ultimate box of prize fight, which is what, where you shot to fame from, wasn't it? And that's where everything started for you from there and you rematched with. Um, Dex Bellman. Dex Bellman, yeah. a great kid. Yeah. Um, but you know, that's where everything came. You end up winning the English title, then the British title, yeah. yeah. and suddenly, like, you know, you're at a level that perhaps only 12 months ago you wouldn't have thought. Yeah, literally, it was literally this day. Every hour I was winning something, you know, I won the my box, I won the English title, and I won the British title, you know, to keep winning titles consecutively each year. Um, it was something not many boxers probably starting in my position would have done. Um, but, you know, nevertheless, that's the mentality for me. I want to just keep pushing forward winning these titles. Um, my team believes in me, and um, I obviously believe in myself, and I believe I can carry on getting more titles and uh, keep elevating and pushing. I just believe boxing's one of those sports, man. It's just, it's, it's how much you want it, you know, if you put your mind to it, it's how much you want it. You can, you know. This was a, this was a second choice, you were a footballer, yeah. footballer, you know, we on the guys with us, West Brom, West Brom, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. I think, you know, I'm one of those people. Um, it doesn't matter what I do. Um, I, I honestly, I give everything my own, man. And um, I put my heart and soul into everything I do. Um, boxing's always been around me. I know football is my first choice. Boxing's been around me because of my old man was a professional boxer, Colin Pitts, and my brothers as well. Um, so it's something where it's Because you guys didn't want you to fight, didn't you? No, nah, never. This is, which, which is why I'm blossomed so late, because I've been able to make my own decisions so late. Um, but otherwise, I would have been doing both for like ages ago and then went on to it, you know, like there's people like, you know, Chris Wokes, so like all the quickest, cricket fans out there, he was someone I played football with and he was doing both and, you know, from a young age he was always doing cricket and now he's in the England, England team, marching and things like that, so he's doing well in that career from, you know, the get-go really. Um, but I don't regret anything, you know, if I had my choice, I'd love to have obviously started 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But who knows if things could have been different. It's all, you know, the all in that's what I think we, we were saying to ourselves. Sometimes, starting late can yeah. be an asset, really, yeah. because yeah. it makes you take a gamble to your risk. Perhaps that's what you've done and why you, you moved so quickly as you did, because yeah. you felt like, well, uh, if not now, when? Yeah. And this is what I'd say, you know, in the bo- in terms of boxing, I don't want to to I'm very young and fresh. You know what I mean? Yeah. In boxing, I've not taken, you know, I've not taken much punishment and things like that. So I think it's a sport like, you know, as, as fresh as you can keep yourself and be the longer you, you know your career can, can be a little bit. Have you on the uh, the women's thirteen show? The women's thirteen. Have we any opponent? Um, I've heard of uh, you know they found a few good names at me. Um, obviously, they want me to you know potentially head night. So hopefully that will be set. Yeah, because Sam's having a little bit of a. Uh, yeah. He's gonna, that, he's, oh, he's gonna have to. Yeah. I mean, that fight of the year that was, you know, I mean, a tremendous fight. Yeah, a tremendous fight. I hope they get fight of the year for that. It was a tremendous fight for the fans. And um, yeah, so that's the plan. And you know, they've thrown a few good names at me. One of them being an expo champion. So I love either, either name which they've thrown at me. It'd be a great fight. It'd be a good fight. Um, it's bright, but you know, as I say, man, every day I've got to keep working and to remember, make it brighter. I remember one last thing, uh, I'm not boxing like you, but you cheered me up because I'm a big United fan. I'm a big United fan. Yeah. Well, I bet you were loving it when you were now right? Yeah, 100%, 100%. It's something that the team needed, you know what I mean, that injection of energy. Um, Ronaldo back on the side, and like, I think he brings that energy. His morale's great around the club and things like that. So. It's hard to get to the top in any sport, yeah. but that guy, managed to stay there for the last 12 years. It's just dedication. That's what separates you know, people who are at the top of their game from anyone else. It's just them dedicating themselves to their craft. You know what I mean? I've, I've, I've watched a few things on that and read a few things on that and his work effort is just like, you know, young fresh and clear. So he does things what um, like the old normal football would do. And I think it's important to keep the mentality um, of one always wanting to learn and one always demanding more at yourself like you know you self mentioned and said you know not a lot of people met you know move quickly in for, for example in boxing terms as I did um, for me it's just like I don't focus on that you know I just focus on one step at a time and I'm sure that's what a lot of people in themselves just focus one step at a time and then before you know it you're looking back and you're probably thinking well okay I've come a far away but I don't look back at all now, I've just got to keep taking it. looking forward, so you don't need to look back. Yeah. Yeah. But if, if, if your career was to end today, you know, and you get to fight again, you've got something really to be proud of because of that movement inside two years to be British champion. No. It's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's, it's good, but I think for me, um, I'm one of those people it's hard to sat- well, be satisfied. Well, take it from me. It is. <laughs> so, yeah. well done, Jack. And, no, I appreciate and good luck with the women's team. Thank you very much. Take much. Care, I appreciate it. Bye-bye. You take care as well. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.